Hey everyone, Pablo here. So welcome back to just another dang how to channel. So on this video, we're gonna finally uncover why there's errors being thrown when you try to install Cocoa Pods for the very first time on your Apple um, machine. So I previously did a tutorial before on my Intel machine where I used Gem to install Cocoa Pods and the alternative was using Homebrew. But on this tutorial, we're gonna go a little bit deeper and finally fix what's wrong with this setup. Let's go. The tutorial I did way back um, May 24 of 2020 um, I use this command to bypass the permission error that I'm getting when I run sudo gem install cocoa pods so just passing the user local bin directory allowed me to install cocoa pods this doesn't work anymore on my new machine which is a Apple silicon machine running Mac OS Monterey 12.4 so when I try to run the same command, so if I go to Cocoa Pods and grab sudo gem install, which is the installation, um, if I paste that in the terminal, this is what I get. It's a different kind of error. It's uh, saying I don't have right permission to this particular directory, which is the Ruby framework directory um, version 2.6. So the reason we're getting this error is because the Mac OS comes pre-installed with Ruby and the version of Ruby that it came with is 2.6. So when Gem is trying to install Cocoa Pods, it's trying to install it on the uh, Ruby Gems directory, which it doesn't have access to. So to properly fix this, uh, you need to actually install the right version of Ruby. So the latest version of Ruby, as per this video, if I go to ruby-lang.org, uh, the latest version is 3.1.2. So you could check out um, the latest version uh, when you do your installation, when you uh, get across this video. So to fix this, you actually need to install Two things, you want to install the uh, Ruby version manager and Cheruby, which would allow you to run specific version of Ruby. So to install those software, you need to install Homebrew. So if you haven't installed Homebrew yet on your machine, on your Apple Silicon machine, check out my tutorial on previous tutorial on this one. So basically you copy the path, install it in the terminal, and update the path so I already have a uh, homebrew installed so I won't do that anymore um, to get started with the Ruby installation you need to go to brew type in brew and then install and then type in the software so the software is called Ruby install and Cheruby so this would download from the repository and add it on your machine so here uh, it gave some bit of summary on what needs to happen it's asking you to add the following to the zish rc file so this is the source where the executable is for the script is for cheruby and an auto sh so this too needs to be added to the zish rc file so i uh, need to copy this over to a text editor so it's easier cool so i have them copied here um, so I'm still gonna use the terminal. I'm gonna use a V editor. So if I say um, sudo v and I target the zish rc file, it should open up the V editor. I'm gonna hit the I uh, key to start inserting some uh, information here. So from here, I'm just simply gonna paste those two and what i want to do as well is um, type in the version of ruby that i want to target so to do that i simply enter ruby and i say ruby uh, dash 3.1.2 so i'm gonna hit the escape key to stop inserting 
and hit shift colon and type in X and exclamation mark to save that should save that file cool now the next part is to install Ruby so before I install Ruby I'm just gonna show you the version that is currently installed so this is the one I was talking about came pre-installed from 2021 so to install Ruby we use Ruby install so say Ruby dash install whoops and we could say latest and that should I could also specify Ruby if I want to and that would install the latest Ruby so it's grabbing 3.1.2 it's downloading cool so that took a while so you can see uh, Ruby has been successfully been installed so let's try without restarting the terminal if the version got updated sorry no nope. so I need to restart the terminal start terminal open it up again and this time type in Ruby dash dash version and you would see that the Ruby version is now 3.1.2 so finally if I go to um, call pods guide and copy this in, uh, command and paste it in the terminal fingers crossed will not get any error Looks like it's working. There you go. So it installed Cocoa Pod. So if I say pod, maybe try version version. You would see I got the latest version installed. So there you go. Uh, the proper way to install Cocoa Pods. Uh, using uh, the right version of Ruby in your machine. Cool, so hope you like this tutorial. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers, bye for now.